And this is Ken Kreitzer at Elmsford, New York, at the Operation Cookie Drop, uh, run by the Girl Scout Heart of the Hudson. I have a chance on the Army birthday to talk to an extraordinary veteran of the United States Army, and that is Captain James Van Tock. And uh, Captain Van Tock, uh, just a wonderful event here today, seeing all these Girl Scouts, their families, and so many people helping out, donating cookies. Uh, what is it like for you to see all this? Well, I'm very happy to see it. I'm very fortunate and very lucky. Because by a split second, I would not be here uh, because of my injuries from the war zone. So to have the opportunity to share this, what the American dream is all about, and also to remember and reflect on my fellow brothers and sisters that have made the supreme sacrifice, this is all because of them. And Captain Van Tock, uh, you were telling me uh, about your service in Iraq and that you served 25 months consecutively in Iraq, which is extraordinary, uh, and you volunteered to do that. Tell us a little bit about your service in Iraq. Yes. Um, I volunteered to go to Iraq in, in March of 2006. I was a military advisor to the Iraqi army. Unfortunately, I was injured in, in uh, June 2006 from ID of my vehicle, but it was minor, so I could just continue to drive on and with my mission. And then, unfortunately, a second time in February 2007, I was much more seriously injured, and I suffered a traumatic brain injury, injury to my left eye, which I have migraine headaches, injury to my neck, my back, and my left leg. But because I saw when I was getting ready to prepare to go to Lansdow, I saw fellow veterans that were actually missing arms and legs and incapacitated. And I looked in the mirror and I saw that even though I didn't have any physical injuries outside that was injured, but internally I had injuries. I still want to continue to serve. So what happened was I received a profile, which is called a modified duty. And I was able to stay in Iraq, but not work as an infantry officer, but to work on modified duty, on desk duty. And I became the supplies and services officer in charge of all military advisors all throughout Iraq for an additional year. Very, uh, how wonderful your service to our country has been. Uh, just tell us about your uh, life since you've come back uh, from Iraq. Well, it's been very difficult um, because I extended my tour in, in Iraq. I didn't address my internal injuries. So when I came back, my body was very detrimental. And it took me a lot to get back into infantry mode and to do infantry tactics. And unfortunately, I was deemed not to be uh, able to serve in the military, and I was medically retired. Um, and also, my marriage ended up in divorce. So it was very difficult to live with my injuries, even though now I'm medically retired. I wasn't able to practice law because of my traumatic brain injury, so I, I fell into depression. Um, but currently, because now I'm matching my service dog, Liz, she's able to assist me. Um, it, I take about currently 21 pills a day to survive, and if I don't have my family members around to pick up those pill, pill bottles uh, for me, uh, my body can go into shock and I can, I can die. So now with my service dog, Liz, I can be left alone with my dog. My service dog can pick up those pill bottles for me. And she's been a great help for me. And it's been so inspirational how she's helping me. In um, February and March of 2013, I went over to Iraq, uh, sorry, to Afghanistan on Operation Proper Exit. And I spoke to fellow veterans about how my service dog, Liz, has helping helping me. And I wanted to inspire them that whatever you're going through, ask for help. Or if you have a battle buddy that needs help, ask for help. The help is there. The military is a great place. But what we have to do is we have to notify our fellow troops, our fellow brothers and sisters, not to feel lost at sea, which is shy, embarrassed, ashamed. And I want to inspire them to ask for help. Help is there. And Captain, uh, that is so important. Service dogs, uh, uh, something that all of us in the American Legion and uh, veterans community have been trying to uh, promote. How has it uh, really helped you and some of the other veterans that you've seen? Yes, it's been a great help uh, for fellow veterans. If they're medical doctors and their family members think is the best asset for them, it's a great help. And I'd like to, to say to fellow veterans and also to American people, what our veterans need is a pal. And what is a pal? They need to find passion and what they want to do with their life, aspire to it, and have a legacy. So what I tell veterans is don't get lost at sea, don't feel shy, embarrassed, or shame, and find a pal.
find passion in what you want to do, continue to be an asset to our country, aspire to it, and you'll have a legacy to leave to your family members, your community, our nation, and our heritage as Americans. And my dad is a U.S. Army officer from World War II on. We'd be so proud of you. What does it mean for you on today, the special day, Flag Day, and, and also the, the Army birthday? Um, I feel very happy and fortunate to be here um, to, to experience this, this birthday for the U.S. Army. And right now I'm reflecting on my fellow brothers and sisters that have made the supreme sacrifice the ones that are arresting in our national cemeteries here in the United States and also the cemeteries that are overseas. So it's a great poignant uh, message for me is to remember them because without them, I would not be here. And also I'd like to thank them who continue to serve and who are putting their life in danger and who are sacrificing them. So I salute my fellow brothers and sisters in our armed forces and also the family members that stick by us through the tough times and the good times. And also I'd like to remember our Gold Star parents and family members that have made the supreme sacrifice for their loved ones. Captain, what a fine, amazing representative of the U.S. Army and all the U.S. military that you are. Thank you so much uh, for all that you have done for our country and our best wishes from all of us at the Sons of the American Legion, WVOX. Thank you very much, and God bless you all, and God bless our country. Thank you, sir. This is Ken Kratzer at the Operation Cookie Drop in Elmsford, New York for Sons of the American Legion Radio and WVOX.